Good morning, all you cool cats and kittens, and what did I say? Stevie Fast, KTR, inside the shop, and what we are officially calling the off season. Ah, insert cloud sound from the Lord. Ah. All right, this time of year for me is always full of maintenance, repair, uh, fixing all the stuff that we blow up all year. Um, I'm, I'm really excited about some of the projects that we're going to be doing this off season. I'm going to take you guys along, uh, for a ride with them for the last two years. Uh, at the end of the season, I have almost started a project. I've even drug it into the shop a couple of times only to, to get discouraged by how big of a project that it is and pull it back out. Um, so today we're going to talk about it and I'm going to let you guys give me some tips. Uh, it's not really in my wheelhouse of what I normally do. I'm going to get some advice and some tips from you guys on what the best way to go about it is. Um, it, let's just go out there and I'm going to show it to you guys and, and we'll, we'll talk about it. Look at that thing. I bet a lot of you guys don't remember that. That was my first wheel stand ever. Uh, little Mo tuned 1967 Camaro. Little story about this car. Uh, I, I, Bubba Shellnut let me drive this car uh, when I shouldn't have been driving this car. Mo strapped me in this thing. I go out there and it was pink the first time I ran it. First run to ever do a massive wheel stand, run, run five flat, and I was hooked. Ended up buying it. Cool story about this car. This car, when it was a street car back in the 80s and 90s, was actually a friend of my dad's. And this car raced my dad's street car um, on the streets of Hepsiba, Georgia in the 80s. Pretty cool. Still knew how to do a burnout. Big Daddy still skinned the tires off the thing. I had no crew, no help. Who's that lining me up? Purging it up. You can see I got a lot of safety equipment on. You always got to purge it at least 87 times through the engine. Regular tree. Yeah. Oh, that's still little too. Check out the quality of the video footage there. I'm probably gonna run this off in the sand. Yeah, shut it off. That's good for the mission. How did we get where we are now? Look, leaves are falling. Cold weather is upon us. All right. I'll tell you a little quick as we meander to the back of the KTR racing shop. Everything's disconnected. We're working on everything. This is the type of year where we put brakes on the trailer and axles and all kind of crap. All right, so. My stepfather, uh, who had a large hand in raising me, uh, passed away a long time ago. Uh, his name was Ronnie, so I'm naming this project Ronnie. Um, this was his pickup truck. It's a 1973 Chevrolet long bed, hot rod pickup truck. Uh, he used to pick me up from school, take me to school in this thing. He was a really old school guy, Air Force guy. Um, instilled a love of aviation into me when I was a kid. And when he passed away, uh, he had gave me this truck and I don't really know and I haven't known what to do with it. So it's one of those things that's definitely not for sale. You're never going to get rid of it. It's kind of too far gone maybe to make nice, but maybe make a, a driver out of it. I mean, it's got some, oh look, I'm a gardener. I got a plant. Um, outside's rough, old Chevrolet death metal rust. Uh, this thing's got spare tanks, so it's got a tank on both sides. Um, interior exactly as it was when he took me to school the last time before he died. I mean, I haven't done anything to it. Um, boy, oh, see Delco engine stand. I probably bought that when I built my first motor. I got the Mastercraft tires. So he drove this thing everywhere. He was an old school guy, didn't like fuel injection, could have afforded a new car, chose not to. Uh, when I was a kid, we were so embarrassed to ride in this thing because it's so raggedy and he loved it and wouldn't, uh, you know, was not a conformist. So I think that's a lot of where I, I don't give a shit what anybody thinks attitude that I have um, comes from him for sure. Because like, look at that seat. I mean, you could put a seat in it, but hell no, you don't need to do that. Check out this hot rod engine compartment. Insulation action. Looks like we've had a few wild pieces of wildlife living in there. So 
this thing's got a hot rod. Yeah, probably gonna have to replace some of this. Hell yeah. Got a hot rod, 5.7 liter, 350 in there. Got some stock exhaust manifolds. Now this thing had air conditioner, it still does, and it worked. Uh, I remember when I was a kid, how good the air conditioning worked. And I was like, I cannot believe this cream puff's got air conditioning. So, looks like a solid build. So here's, here's where I am at. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I, part of me wants to just put a crate motor 350 in it, drive it around like it is, embarrass my daughter, pick her up from school. Part of me wants to get over the top and do a full frame off restoration on it. Part of me wants to chop it up, make it a short bed. I could tub it, put some big wheels and tires on it, lower it to the ground. LS7 is on the table, <coughs> Pro Charger, big block Chevrolet, screw blown Hemi. Um, I think it'd be cool if I put a six speed Linko in it with a clutch. It's definitely got enough wheelbase to handle it. Um, could make a burnout truck out of it. Could make a pretty cool drifting truck out of it. I'm not sure. What I want you guys to do is to help me decide what we're gonna do, and we're gonna do it together. Um, this is gonna be, I wanna start to finish this project before Gainesville, so it's gonna be kind of a quick build. I want you guys to put your, your comments and suggestions in the comments section on our YouTube channel, and give me some advice. If you guys have one of these and you've done something that's pretty awesome, put a couple pictures in there, send them to me. If you have some definitely don't do this is because it ruins the deal, uh, you know put that in there too this is going to be something i'm going to keep this is not a for sale deal this is not going to be i'm going to build something cool and drive it a little bit and get rid of it so it can be mild to wild uh whatever you guys think steer me in the right direction uh, and we're going to do it together um this is an emotional project to me uh but it, it's going to be fun i've been trying to do this for two or three years uh I, and I'm also open, I thought about maybe just completely restoring it to original. You know, don't do anything to it. Just strip it, paint it, make it nice. <coughs> also think it'd be really cool as hell to put an extremely powerful drivetrain in it. Leave it exactly rusty like it is. Don't do anything to the exterior. Make it where the hood shuts and the door shut. And, and go drive it around. Um, so give me some, give me some ideas. Uh, and, and thank you, KTR Nation, for watching. This is going to be a fun build project. Thank you for helping us and coming along with us. We'll see you soon.